Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to add Google Maps to your Android application. To begin, create an empty Android application. Go to the Apps Build Gradle file and implement the Google Maps SDK. Go to the activity main.xml layer file. Switch into the goal view and add a fragment. Set the width, height, ID and the constraints. To turn this fragment into a Google Maps fragment, set the name attribute to com.google.android.gms.maps.supportmapfragment. Now that we have added the map to the layout, we need to load it up. Go to the main activity file and import the support map fragment class. In the onCreate method, get the reference to the Google Maps fragment in the layout using the Fragment Manager. Once we have the reference for the map, we need to attach a callback to it so we know when the map is loaded. Import the onMapReady callback class. In the class header, implement the callback and then hover over on top of it. Press and hold the Alt key and press Enter. Select the Implement Methods option and implement the onMapReady callback method. In the onCreate method, grab the Google Maps fragment. Call getMapAsync and pass in this for the callback. The onMap ready callback is triggered when the map is ready. We use this method to add contents to the map. This is all we need to do to add the map to the app. The next thing we need to do is to generate an API key so we can use the Google Maps services. Go to console.cloud.google.com. Sign in with your Google account and create a new project. On the left, scroll down until you see the Google Maps Platform tab and click on it.
In the content section, select the Maps SDK for Android option and enable the service. Once the service is enabled, click on the Credentials tab on the left. Then click on Create Credentials at the top and select API Key. When the API Key is created, copy it and go back to Android Studio. In the Manifest file, add a metadata element inside the application and set the key. If we run the app, we should see a map. If your map is empty, close the app and then reinstall it by uninstalling it in the emulator first. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.